Best Bernie Doodle Generations If you've been looking into getting a Bernie Doodle lately, first of all, good for you! Secondly, you probably ran into some strange letter and number combos at some point, like F1 or F2B. What are these though, and what do they mean? Well, actually it refers to their generation, as well as if they are a purebred or a hybrid of some kind. It can be hard to decipher this information, which is why we are going to do it for you and break down how to read these coded messages, as well as which are the best ones to go for if you are in the market for a Bernie Doodle. The Terminology Although it can be confusing at first, it's absolutely necessary that you understand the generation if you want to properly understand your dog and what they may need. The good news is that once you get the hang of it, the system is actually very straightforward. Let's take for example the Bernie Doodle and break it all down real quick. F1B Bernie Doodle The F stands for filial hybrid. This implies that a Bernie Doodle is a hybrid dog that comes from two different purebreds, Bernese Mountain Dog and Poodle. The number one means the generation of the Bernie Doodle. An F1B Bernie Doodle is the first generation of offspring. The B represents the meaning of back cross. The back cross is an elegant term that merely means inbreeding back to a 100% poodle generation. Breeders will almost always breed back to a 100% poodle because they are allergy friendly and don't shed fur. F1 Bernie Doodle Meaning An F1 Bernie Doodle would be 50% poodle and 50% Bernese Mountain Dog and makes up the initial cross between two 100% pure animals. This is what most people picture when they imagine a Bernie Doodle, but let me tell you why this may not be the best choice for some of you guys watching. Because this is the first cross, there is more uncertainty regarding what the dog will come out looking like than there is with future crosses. This is also a good thing, however, because of something called hybrid vigor, which we will be talking about a lot for the rest of the video. Hybrid Vigor is a genetic advantage that means that any crossed offspring will be healthier than their purebred parents, and it is at its strongest during the F1 generation. So what do we get? Well, we don't really know. The F1 Bernie Doodle will be very healthy, but also could have either wavy or curly hair, and may not even inherit the non-shedding hypoallergenic trait from the poodle, making it a worthless investment if you got a Bernie Doodle for those qualities. F1B meaning. The F1B Bernie Doodle is a cross between an F1 Bernie Doodle and one of the original purebred lines, either a 100% standard poodle or 100% Bernese Mountain Dog. Usually F1B Bernie Doodles are a cross between F1 Bernie Doodles as well as 100% poodles, as breeders favor dog coats that don't shed and are hypoallergenic. The F1B Bernie Doodle will be 75% Poodle and only 25% Bernese Mountain Dog, making it a safer pick for people that are hypoallergenic or just prefer non-shedding dogs. Because the F1B is the result of an F1 Bernie Doodle and a Poodle, it is scientifically referred to as a back cross, which is where the B comes from. We begin to see the hybrid vigor lesson here too and are trading in the more consistent nature of the F1B for a bit of vigor that is lost between F1 and F1B. F1BB meaning. The F1BB Bernie Doodle is 87.5% Poodle and only 12.5% Bernese Mountain Dog, making it much more Poodle than Mountain Dog. It is the result of a cross between an F1B Bernie Doodle and also an original purebred 100% Poodle or 100% Bernese Mountain Dog, although almost always the breeder will go with the Poodle in that case because of the hypoallergenic and non-shedding traits. Of the first generation Bernie Doodles, this is the most hypoallergenic and non-shedding as well and is practically a third generation Bernie Doodle at this point. As we have said for every entry, the hybrid vigor decreases with each cross, and that is no exception here, also being the first generation Bernie Doodle with the least amount of hybrid vigor protection. F2 meaning. The F2 Bernie Doodle is once again split evenly between the Poodle Bernie's Mountain Dog and is our introduction to the second generation of Bernie Doodle. This is a cross between an F1 Bernie Doodle and an F1 Bernie Doodle, and the F2 generations produce specimens that are rather similar to the F1 generation since they are the same percent of Bernese Mountain Dog as well as Poodle. 
Nevertheless, most dog breeders will certainly not breed an F2 Bernie Doodle because of this generation being one of the most unpredictable generations of genetics in regards to coat kind and variation of shedding. Because of this, I wouldn't really expect to see F2 Bernie Doodles being shopped around by many breeders, and it could very well be a red flag that they don't know what they're doing if they are trying to sell them. F2B Next up is the F2B Bernie Doodle generation, which is about 62.5% Poodle and close to 37.5% Bernie's Mountain Dog. The F2B is a cross between an F1 Bernie Doodle, which remember is a split 50-50, as well as an F1B Bernie Doodle, which boasts a 3 to 1 ratio between Poodle and Bernie's Mountain Dog. Because different people enjoy different things though, some dog breeders will choose to breed an F1B Bernie Doodle and another F1B Bernie Doodle instead, which would lead to the F2B being 75% Poodle as well as 25% Bernie's Mountain Dog. Either way, the end result is going to be a dog that is between 62.5% and 75% Poodle. The F2B very much resembles a Poodle, with the curly or wavy coat, but even then there is still a chance that things go the other way and the dog ends up inheriting more of the Bernie's Mountain Dog's traits. In a litter of 6 or 7 F2B Bernie Doodles, for example, there is a strong chance that at least one will not pick up the Poodle's qualities. F2BB meaning. The F2BB Bernie Doodle is about 81.25% Poodle and only a small 18.75% for the poor Bernie's Mountain Dog. The F2BB Bernie Doodle is a cross between an F2B Bernie Doodle and a purebred 100% Poodle. This is the second back cross with the Poodle and part of the second generation, so it obtains a second B in its name, which is why it is described as an F2BB Bernie Doodle. The important thing to note here is that the F2BB is rapidly losing hybrid vigor, but also has some of the most Poodle in them. Once again, echoing the trade-off that has been going on throughout. This generation is best for people that don't really want to take a chance on a dog that could shed a ton. F3 Bernie Doodle We made it! We got to the final Bernie Doodle classification. Give yourself a pat on the back because this was a lot of information. But the F3, or multi-generational as it is also called, is a bit more straightforward thankfully. Usually, F3 Bernie Doodles are bred with an F1B Bernie Doodle and an additional F1B Bernie Doodle. Additionally, you can breed an F3 Bernie Doodle with an F2 Bernie Doodle as well as another F2 Bernie Doodle. F3 Bernie Doodles have substantial poodle genes, so it is fantastic for individuals with pet allergies. The F3 Bernie Doodle generation coat can differ from a heavy wave to extremely curly, which makes them extremely allergy-friendly and non-shedding. Also, just a disclaimer that multi-generational refers to any hybrid dog after the second generation, and unsurprisingly, once we get to this point, the hybrid vigor is way less than what we started with back in the F1 generation. Generally, people don't get doodles for them just to be shedding everywhere, and the Bernie Doodle is no exception. And without further ado, here are the best generations for the Bernie Doodle. F1B Bernie Doodle, 75% Poodle and 25% Bernie's Mountain Dog. F2B Bernie Doodle, 62.5% Poodle and 37.5% Bernie's Mountain Dog. F1BB Bernie Doodle, 87.5% Poodle and 12.5% Bernie's Mountain Dog. If you are very worried about the possibility that you can't own a dog that isn't hypoallergenic, your best bet would be the F1BB, since it has the most amount of Poodle. If you want a very healthy dog, but still want to hopefully get some Poodle traits, then I would suggest the F1B or even the F2B, as both have pretty great hybrid vigor, as well as primarily dominant Poodle genetics. Anyways, leave a comment down below and let me know what generation you got your eye on. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this posted all the time. See you guys!